Mr. Speaker, I yield uh, two and a half minutes to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Perry. The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for two and a half minutes. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the gentleman from Tennessee for offering this bill, as well as Chairman McCall for bringing it to the floor. When the terrorists attacked in San Bernardino, many Americans said, well, what, what are we doing when you find out that the, these folks are trafficking on the Internet and, and, uh, and messaging? They say, where is our FBI? Where, where are our services protecting us? And why aren't they get, doing everything they can? Now, this is one thing they can do, is offer testimonials from people that have been there who really can give other people that might be interested in joining the truth. Yet there are some folks here that don't want to do that. They're interested in misrepresenting this bill. I want to remind everybody that this bill is the result of a bipartisan task force, a bipartisan task force, member-led, that said we need to do exactly this and unanimously move this forward to the full committee. They say it's unnecessary. Well, if it's unnecessary, why isn't Homeland Security doing this already? Why not? How long are they going to wait? They say that they offered amendments. Really? They offered amendments? They couldn't be bothered to answer the chairman's call when he said, hey, can you collaborate with us on this so we have a good bill that everybody's involved in? They waited till the day of the markup and then came in with a bunch of amendments and concerns, and, and it was apparent that all they wanted to do was slow the process down, and as a matter of fact, move the process to some other date. How long are we going to wait? You want to ask the victims of the people that are killed by these people how long they want to wait? How about the next ones? Now, some on the other side have picked pick this up as a, this is a politically motivated agenda. I say some because not all. As a matter of fact, many on the other side voted to move this bill right to the floor where it is now. I don't understand why they would want to have the America be less safe. I don't understand, Mr. Speaker. We spent four hours, four hours going over a two-page bill, two pages, right? And, we, and we, we entertained what they wanted to change. And we did make some changes. But it was apparent that they didn't want to, all they wanted to really do was stall and stall and move this process forward down the line and never get to us. Mr. Speaker, we don't have any choice. We have to move forward now. Those in opposition are simply willfully, willfully refusing to see what all America sees. We need to address this threat immediate, immediately. Two-page bill, and it doesn't deny Homeland Security from doing anything that it's already been doing. As a matter of fact, these folks on the other side demanded at that markup, they demanded that we say that Homeland Security must do this. And the chairman said, okay, if you want to demand that they do it, we'll demand that they do it. Mr. Speaker, I think we ought to make America safe and pass this bill. And I yield the, back, the balance of my time. The gentleman from Pennsylvania yields back.